What's up everybody? Welcome to Shutterstock Tutorials. I'm Logan and today we're going to be talking about tracking shots. What are they? What do they mean? And how can you pull it off with not a lot of money? If you've ever watched behind the scenes footage from any big budget movie, you've probably seen the DP rolling down those tracks that they've laid out for a hundred or so feet. And you've got them filming the actors and the big backdrop and all the extras rolling through. And it looks freaking amazing. Okay, well, it doesn't always have to be like that. You don't need a huge budget to do that kind of shot. Um, it doesn't really matter. That's the beauty of the tracking shot. It's kind of what you make of it. And as long as you get the shot, it doesn't really matter how you got it. So in the past, whenever I was working on my many masterpieces, uh, I've used like skateboards, wheelchairs, sitting in cars, golf carts. One time I sat on the back of my friend's bike I did not, it didn't work, obviously. Roller blades, you can use like a gimbal, a glide cam. I used to pop my DSLR on the glide cam. Very, it's cheap and it's easy. Um, you can use a steady cam, obviously. So it's basically just about getting that movement alongside your actors. Fun fact for you, one of the best ways you can actually make your own track, buy some PVC pipe, two by two board, or board big enough to fit your tripod, throw some skateboard wheels on there, good to go like this. We've got two, we've got two pipes and one of these. So those DIY tracks that aren't very long are perfect for anybody shooting like product videos for clients because you can get just a smooth sweeping shot of something sitting on a cabinet or whatever it is that you're making a video on. So you might be asking yourself, what is the point of a tracking shot? Well, it's kind of up to you. Um, if it serves the story, go for it. If it doesn't, you don't need it. Uh, it's just a good way to add production value and keep the pace up, keep the camera moving in general. It's a good way to show characters moving from one location to another or showing some kind of transition or progress in the story, literally showing them go from one point to another, but it's also just up to you in terms of if that's a good style for your film. Like anything with filmmaking, it's what you make it. Uh, you should never have to explain why you did something, it should just fit in the story. So play around, try it. If you like the way the shot looks, make sure to get different angles, masters, wides, close up, whatever, um, so you can have something to work with in your edit. But other than that, just try it, see if you like it. That's it, that's all I got. If you like this video, hit subscribe, leave a comment, comment your favorite tracking shot of all time, and that's it. I'll see you in the next one.